George the Mary's on property. a flash
those who have lost their lives because we sat around and did nothing. My heart doesn't even scratch the surface to those who lost our children, our friends, our family, our dying because we are letting these deranged lunatics out of the world run free.
the world. Now this is all about giving the voice to people, showing your voice. But the people don't want the voice to be heard. They want to, they want to help, but they don't want to speak. They don't, they don't want to come up here. They don't want to come us. Yeah.
when I go to school, I want to worry about whether or not I pass my algebra test. Not whatever this is. I agree. It's time that we speak up and make your voices heard. As students of America, it is time for us to demand that we can walk into school in the morning and not to be scared that we won't walk out. I agree. Now, my speech is a little bit of a long one. Uh, I'm sorry. But... How's everyone feeling today? Okay, I'm sorry about the trust me. This one time in our glorious land of freedom, we're going to rank on rights and protections. America. At the top of the list for unable rights is our infamous Second Amendment. Our right to muster our civilian forces and face the tyranny of our government. It seems as we as a nation have heard of that, means we can hold a gun. Of course, this term for modern America has conditions. It's fine print, if you will. That thing, if you're not white and want to bring social change, does not fade in the ether. If you don't believe me, ask the black parents of California how quickly their second amendment rights were taken away once they didn't like what they were skewing. Next on our list of rights, far below that one, our glorious First Amendment protects our freedom of speech, assembly, teaching, religion, and the press. It's hard to believe that the freedom to own a gun trumps all that. Trumps the freedom of our children to go to school and learn without fears of their lives being lost. Down on this list still, we got our guaranteed life, 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 liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Ask the residents of Sandy Hook, Rob Elementary, for how the former went. Ask Tingle Xavier Lopez. A student who just received the award for honor roll was congratulated by his mother. Ask him about his pursuit of happiness and how he couldn't wait to go to school. That was right, she helped him. I was always told to thank the ones who died for us. The brave soldiers off in war, the brave cops in our nation. But do you know, since the beginning of the year, since the beginning of 2022, according to the Oxford Death Memorial page, 21 officers lost their lives to gun-related injuries. Same time, same time, 24 children have lost their lives. I, I thank them for our right to own guns. I thank them for that. How did that feel, knowing that that's what they lost their life for? Terrible. Every 5.4 days this year in America, there has been a school shooting. Too many. There's been 27 in total. In the past 145 days, we've had to wake up every week to another death. Another death for the lives lost. There are 288 since Columbine in the United States. 208 since 1999. How does that feel? Does it feel freedom? Liberating? No! In the rest of the world, in that same time, there have been 50, 50 school shootings in the rest of the world. The United States has 4% of the world's population, the 80% of the school shootings. If y'all know me, I, I am from Alabama. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, freedom Alabama. <laughs> I've always heard the defense of these, these rights, but they're the type of people from the government. As I said earlier, people that need rights from the government get taken away. The Black Panthers protest and take change, the protest the civil rights reforms, they get shut down. Who would tell me if it's gun control in our nation is to criminalize minorities, criminalize those who are marginalized. If I decide to speak up, Columbine, Rob Elementary, Sandy Hook, Oxford. The Second Amendment, the freedom of speech, the pursuit of happiness, peace, freedom, and justice for all. These are the terms of modern America. And make sure you read the fine print. There are many conditions. Now I decide to welcome everyone's favorite senior by far, Chauncey Michael. Thank you everyone. Alright, before we get to my speech, I just want to say, maybe, maybe one
wondering why I'm here right now. Why am I not at home? Can I do these mass shootings? And I'm angry. Are you angry? Yeah. I said, are you angry? Yeah. Could be. Yeah. All right. Now to speech. Grown more gruesome. 
We watch families and friend, friends hurt and cry, and we watch parents weep as they lose their children. When the Columbine shooting happened, those alive said it would never happen again. They said they wouldn't let it happen, as it was so horrific and devastating. Yet our generation, our generation grew up in fear. Fear that our school would be the next flashing news title. Fear that us or our classmates would be the next name on a list. Fear that we could be staring down the barrel of a gun in one of the only places where we are supposed to feel completely safe. We face lockdown drills with acronyms, acronyms telling us exactly what to do if an active shooter enters the building. We plan escape routes, we plan to barricade, and we plan to fight back. But fighting back then is far too late. We need to fight back now. Now is when we need to make sure that a shooter never makes it to a school. Now is when we need to make sure that a shooter never gets to make a plan. Now is when we need to make sure a shooter never gets their hands on a gun. Protecting students, teachers, and any other staff needs to start now. It needed to start many years ago. American schools should not be training grounds. We are tired of calling for action and receiving nothing in return. We are tired of walkouts and protests. At the end of the day, we are here to make the change. But very sadly, many are not. So many students, daughters, sons, friends, classmates, and neighbors did not get the chance to graduate and earn a diploma. Their lives were stolen from them, ripped out of their hands. Now we call you and we ask you to please help us stop this unnecessary and horrific cycle of gun violence in schools. Thank you. I'm passing the mic to Scott. I know y'all already might have heard from me, but I also want to make this very clear. As we are talking also about gun violence, I want to say that it doesn't stop at guns as well as students' lives. It will never stop. Because as I've heard that gun violence can happen to many people of different communities, trans communities is definitely one of them, that I would like to speak of. Um, but there are other ones as well. Um, um, uh, gay violence is also one um, that is actually very close to home for me. Um, my uncle was killed, actually. Um, as that may have seen. Now, as um, it has hurt both me, my mom, my family, and so many other people, he had so many children that now don't have a father. Gun violence needs to stop. Be 
Thank you all. Thank you all for coming. I, I'm so proud of everyone here uh, who is courageous enough to speak out and all of you who are courageous enough to show up and show that you will not accept the life that we are living right now and that you deserve better. Yeah! Before we go, I want to let you all know that the March for Our Lives organization has issued an official march in Boston on June 11th. Okay, please watch this video to uh, watch this video and thank you. See if you can leave a like and I don't care if you I don't care if you're a subscriber or not. You can if you want to. You, you don't have to. Be yep. Bye.